Wow. Yeah, that was B's last time. All right, we're on our way to Cedar. We're taking a junker to the junkyard and picking up the cornet. I'm actually super stoked. There's a lot of car guys that are like, as long as it runs good, that's all that matters. That's Paul's perspective of things. My perspective is, I want it to look good too. I want it to look nice. And so just to see the seat that we originally gave him to what he created with that, I'm super excited. Jeff does a really good job. He's pretty meticulous. And I gave him junk to work with, so. It was yeah, junk. It was it's, pretty bad. It's seats, gonna be pretty cool. The seats. And he's done it junk. super fast for us, so yeah, we can bring it back, finish that thing, and give it to one of you guys. All right, we made it through the sheep. Now we can continue on. Hey, we are in Cedar right now. We just got here. It's a currently a balmy. What is it? I don't even know. What Seventy-nine it is. degrees. Seventy-nine degrees. It's, it was fifty-six up on the mountain. It's three thirty. Uh, three forty-four. We're running down tracking. to above all down to Jed's and we'll throw this junker off and then we'll go pick us up a classy old Did Cornette. Did you explain what this is? This is one of the cars that Landon has ruined <laughs> in the last little while. He traded he for traded it. He traded your brother for this car. The Mountain Dew Thief. <laughs> this is a magical fridge. Every time I take a Mountain Dew out of here, I come back the next day and it looks like this. So that car lasted how long? Three months. It was a pretty good car for three months. <laughs> Three months. Yeah, I put like a power steering pump and a water pump. The motor's dead. It locked her up. It's going to get turned into rebar. Here we go. What's up, Jed? <laughs> we just came into Jed's shop. He's got a dart board right there. I got the darts. We're gonna have a competition, aren't we, boys? Here, you just give me that camera. You're I'll not video gonna be it. In the competition? Nope. I'm gonna get out of your way. Have you ever done this before? No. Oh wow! Yep. Sorry. Jay. That one didn't even hit the board. I can't. Look at the concentration on your face. Oh! I got better. <laughs> you did, you did and pretty better good. What'd you get? Time. You got a oh, two. Ben's gonna clean your clock. Oh, Ben. <laughs> You're better at this than me. You didn't hit the wall yet. Oh, well, what it's does official. That mean? Ben won. But if I have more practice, I'm gonna win next time. All right, Jed, we brought you a junker. Where do you want it? Well, I've got the back gate opened up now, so you can just go yeah, around okay. the back side of my other building there, ignore all of my cool stuff. <laughs> and, I'll uh, never do that. <laughs> I'll pull in. So this is the fun way to take it off. buff out. She's mint. <laughs> Still buff. Yeah. Why Jet's not looking? Well, yeah. Jet's not looking. Is it straight? Yeah, I need the clutch off of that. There it is, right there. Look at that. Machine stuff. Why in the world would they throw those out? You, you oh, hey, look at you. that. <laughs> right there. You need one of those. Hey, the cornet needs that. That's, the, that's what's making that uh, funny noise. The ring gear's running on this right now. Are you ready for the ancient Chinese proverb? Which, let's hear it. The junkyard will provide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had this guy working for me one day and he was gonna build a motor and he needed a cam bearing installer tool. And he was asking me if I had one. I says, no, I don't have one. And I says, but I'll tell you what, 
the junkyard will provide. I swear to you, a week later, he found an OTC bearing install <laughs> tool kit in that freaking pile. That's cool. In the box. So we're gonna go pick our cornet up. Nice. Carter's got all of our interior in it, so it'll be fun to drive that car finished. Yeah. We haven't really driven it. Door no, there's back been no seats times, in it. Setting on five <laughs> gallon buckets. Yeah, yeah. And... I like it. That's how she was supposed to run. She's a fire breathing dragon now. Yeah. We'll see. I'm excited to see what it looks like. So, Jed was just talking about his crusher and how he can only get like four cars in it or something. And, and I, I think I'm going to try it. He said I could push the button. <laughs> smash some stuff. Alright, we're gonna go load this cornet and get home and uh, hopefully be able to do something else today still. But you know Michelle ain't letting us leave here without eating. Ben's on the scent. Oh, he's getting something? He's, he's looking for a transmission for his little truck. So. That'd be a good trade. He's on the trail. So what deal did you guys just make? Transmission. Did you find, did you find something here? Parts. Parts good for parts. a car. Good parts for good junk. <laughs> Good parts for good junk. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's, junk. that's how it works. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Chad. You can back okay. straight up there. Okay, and then sounds good. Around. Hey, we'll see you later. Okay, take care, guys. Look at all of it. Look at the beauty of it all. This is Jed's stash, stash side over here. It's where he puts all the stuff he likes. Ben, did you find something good? He found himself a transmission. Yep, for 86 yep. Nissan hard body. So I knew burnouts better than Jay's. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hard. Jace is pretty good at them. I've tried to do one in my truck, but yeah, you gotta beat Jace. All right, on to the seats. Yep. All right, let's go check this out. So it's not 100% done. I know that because we didn't finish it. The regulators messed up in a couple of windows, and we gotta fix it. But he's pretty much got all the parts and pieces we need. So let's go check it out. See it. Hello, Miss Carter. <laughs> How you Look doing? At that. That looks good. Looks like lots of hours. <laughs> wow. This looks great. Can I keep it? <laughs> you can't win it. You oh, have to man. ask the people if you can keep it, Ben. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> well, like I was explaining earlier, we have regulator problems in the windows. That's why he's not done with it yet. But we'll fix all of that and put them on. So it's just clips that go look in. Look at that. That's on so you guys can see what it's going to look like. That red color matches perfectly with the dash and stuff. Wow! Yeah, that was beef See, last time. Everything, there was <laughs> pieces hanging. Was nasty. So this that was- That looked like, I could, I could, I could drive this to whoever wins. I like it. Now you've done a great job yeah, here. This I love good. this. Got the red stitching. <laughs> yes. Yep. It offsets it, it perfect. Breaks it up, makes it look nice. It's good, thank you, sir. We will, uh, Take this thing home and put it together and finish it. The final push, we can finish this car. So he's the same guy that did all the interior in the nugget too, so. Maybe he'll do my Jeepster soon too. Soonish? Yeah. What are you saying? You want your Jeepster done? I think so. Well, we'll up. get this thing out of your hair. Yep. Let's load her up. All right. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some oil up on that camshaft. You forgot to do something after you tied it down. What's that? Well, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> down. We're going home. Aren't we just going home? I bet you can't even guess what we're gonna do next. Put it in the comments. Where are we going? She got her way. Every time. All right, got some food, got a car going home. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us because we got one window that doesn't roll up on this thing. So. But they're going to fix it. Oh yeah. 
We got a little, we got a day's worth of work left on this old girl. And then she's a ripper. And we're gonna put some miles on it before we give it away. Just so we know it's good. I wouldn't mind driving in that car now. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, car's good, we'll tear into it tomorrow. The interior looks awesome in it. Jeff did a killer job. It's gonna be good. One of you guys or gals is gonna love that car. All right, it's a new day in the shop. We're back at it. On the weekend, I tore the PTO apart. It's scattered here. If you'll remember, a few episodes ago at Gumby's Junkyard, I picked this PTO up and it had that gear in it, which is a good one. If you'll compare the two, this is the, the gear I took out. You can see that it is hammered. Probably would have ran for a while, but we had it. So we're pulling it apart and we discovered this. That bearing toasted. So the pump itself looks good. It's gonna work fine. So we'll just continue piecing this back together. We just thought we'd give you a little update. Ben's scraping. Got us a new uh, air scraper. Pretty sweet. And where we get this is Harbor Freight. Oh, yeah. We got the wrong end on it or something? Oh, that's the right um, end. I don't it know what's going on. just keeps letting go. Huh. Things are happening. All right, Jace joined us this morning. Now he's out of bed, he can video. So we ran into a little bit of a snag. This, so this PTO, follow me over here, I'll show you what we've got going. Okay, so the PTO is not mounting to the transfer case. It's going to my doubler box, the 203. This is gonna be right here. This is gonna set like in that. just like so. Okay. This is our dilemma. Let's this right this. here is how you fill this full of oil. So, we're uh it's coming off we won't have any way to fill this thing full of oil what we're proposing is to drill a hole in it right there and put a pipe plug in it so we can fill it up so that's what we're gonna do i think it's gonna work just fine all right so that's the size of plug we're gonna use eighth inch which it's gonna be a little hard to get oil in it, but we're going for minimal interference as we can get. I'm gonna wrap this rag down in there to try to keep as much out as I can. Well, we've got a hole drilled in her anyway. Well, that's right or wrong, that's what it is, huh? Yep, there's a hole. In there's the a hole in my bucket. Oh, dear Liza. All right. Threaded. She's threaded. No brakes and minimal stuff all over the gear. We're good. Now we just need a plug, right? That's an off thing. Yep, we'll grab us an eighth inch plug and then we can put oil in this thing. But that's about as far as we're gonna get on this part today. When we get bearings that show up, we'll jump back on this and we'll get going on it. All right, Cornette, all its glory is in the shop. We are gonna fix that pesky leak in transmission once and for all. It's coming out, we have a whole nother transmission, a complete brand new rebuild kit for it. We're gonna pull this one out and rebuild the other one and put it in, problem solved. We're gonna bolt the grill in it. We're gonna bend the bumper back straight, do a little body work on that. And then it's on to the interior to basically Put it all back together, finish it, make all the windows go up and down, some new door sills maybe, and give this sucker away. It's coming. Hold tight, it's coming. All right, been here just making a list. It's pretty long of all the stuff that still needs done on this car, but we're gonna knock it off one at a time until this is done. First things first, 
transmission is coming out. All right, so tranny's over here. We basically need this part off of it. We need the long shaft and this back half. So what we're gonna do is uh, tear it off of there, the rest of this tranny. Works fine, it just has a dang cracked case and it leaks all the time, so we'll pull the parts off we need and the rest of it is going away. And it's just a simple, just unbolt this. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong, you gotta tear a clear part to get it out. But we'll drain it real quick. We'll get that changed and keep you up to date. All right, this is the new transmission going in. So it's a short shaft out of a motor home. So we'll gut it, we'll put the long shaft in it, and then we put all these brand new parts in it we got right here. Time is now. Time is now. Nope, but you are. <laughs> the look on your uh, face, that was perfect. <laughs> Alright, we got those parts cleaned out, or that case going. We have got a mess going on here. There's two 727s tore apart. We'll see if we can get one of them back together with all these parts. And have it work. We'll see. See what we can do. It's gonna be fine. All right, transmission is to there. It's only taking us what, four hours? No, not too bad. Yeah, yeah not yeah. bad. We're gonna throw the pan on it and stuff it in the car and see if it leaks. No, it's not gonna leak. We're gonna stick <laughs> it in the car, do some burnouts, it'll be good. All right, we got the mail the other day and this was in it. How cool is that? JC thinks it's pretty awesome. Who sent that to us, buddy? David and Kyle from Neverland Off-Road Racing. Thank you guys, we'll get some enjoyment out of that thing. We'll beat it around a little bit and give it a workout, thank you. All right, update for you. Tranny is going back in. I got a few bolts holding it in. I will hurry and put this thing back together. Next time you see it, we'll be pouring some tranny fluid in it and figuring the rest of it out. So, pretty boring, I'll just get it Bolt it in and we'll be done. All right, we're just dumping some oil in this thing. The boss showed up. She's down here. Hi. Doing boss and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna fill this up. I got like five quarts in it. We'll fire it up, check it, and hopefully no leakages. There's nothing leaking out of it. That's a bonus. All right, I got my cameraman graders down here at the shop. Yeah. We're gonna let this down and fire it up and see if it goes forward and backwards. Stay right there, I'll let her down, buddy. She got her fired up. It's in neutral. Oh yeah, she's right up. All right, watch them tires, buddy. All right, so she's got every gear it needs. It's not leaking. I think the tranny's fixed. We'll uh, move on to the rest of it, and then we'll go take it for a test strip, make sure it's happy. Headers cool off. I got a little work to do on the, the spark plug wires so they don't get burnt. Charging system, move the seat, door panels. It's gonna be kinda scary. <laughs> nah, it'll be good. Are you sad to be giving it away? Yeah, I 
like yeah? this car. Why you like it? Because it's cool. It is pretty cool. It's looking good, isn't it? Yep. It's going to be cool for one of you to own it. Oops. That's yeah. a bonus. That's power. She runs pretty good actually. Shifts. Cruises right down the old road. We'll turn around right here. made a bunch of progress today it's coming along I'll show you move the seat mm -hmm. now plenty of seat room headroom you'll notice brandy new steering wheel and we got this working we got a beep beep porn on it so we're gaining we just got a couple of door panel this door panel to put on we got to fix the window regulator over there back windows check this out they go up and down Things are happening, then we just got to, oh, we got a stereo to put it in. Guys at JVC hooked us up. We got some wiring to do under the dash. Got to make this tack work again. All in all, she's coming together pretty good, but I'm done for the week and uh, we'll do something different. So thanks for watching. <laughs>